Hello, it's me, the Inverterbarian, and the Wee Man. And yes, it is me, believe it or not. It's me. It's me. It's me, the Inverterbarian. <laughs> okay, so in today's episode, what we are going to be doing wow. is waving wow. like crazy. Wow. Wow. Wowing like crazy. Whoa. Whoa, like crazy. <laughs> and having big old cuddles. Okay, so what we are going to be doing is we have some rehousing coming up. Now, if you recall, I am using these things here. And I pose the question, do we rehouse certain things? One person that does need a rehouse is Little Butt Kicker. Now, Little Butt Kicker was sent to us as a small sling. This is a curly hair. This was sent to us a little butt kicker is a big fat booty right now was sent to us from the nerd room as a small sling has molted a few times and although that tub will probably do it another molt yet we're going to move it up into one of these bad boys so that is our first rehousing project our other rehousing project is the Eurasis Walla Canary now I recall watching a video uh, from the Spider-Man and he had a uh, and Reese's Wild Canary in a beautiful uh, acrylic, well, it was in a, a, a tub and it literally, it lived kind of below but it webbed the whole surface and it just looked absolutely amazing. So I'm hoping that by moving mine into one of these, uh, it will give it the opportunity to web up and look absolutely brilliant. So that is the plan thus far. Let's do it. Okay, so Daddy's going to take handfuls of dirt. We don't want it too wet, so we're just going <laughs> to. Daddy! I know, mate. I'm gonna put, you're gonna help! Squeeze! Awesome work! <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Right. More! More! <laughs> there we go. Let's get lots of dirt in here. We're gonna put a little butt kicker in here. That's awesome. A little butt kicker's gonna need. That's probably a bit big. There we go. Oh, bucket. Let's bury this a bit. There we go. Bury that. Okay, that's uh, that's on the carpet, but that's that's okay. Awesome. What we're gonna do? Is we're gonna link that up there. Okay. So what we've done is there's a kind of hide under here. The main hide's under here. Pressed all this down. And now we're gonna transfer little butt kicker into here, into. The new home okay so here we go we'll, we'll use the same water dish that can go into there to be honest this uh the old substrate and everything will go in as well little bug kickers doing a bit of butt kicking and we go into your new house probably not sure it is probably still quite damp uh yet but there we go <laughs> little butt kicker into New house. We're gonna pop the old bits and to allow a drier surface, we're gonna add the old substrate back in there as well. A little butt kicker's webbing up already, and little butt kicker actually looks like there's a bit of pre molt going on here. Looking quite dark on the abdomen there, but by putting in this old substrate, it just gives a drier layer on the surface, so a little butt kicker isn't freaking out with that dampness underfoot. And there we have a new home for a little butt kicker. Oh, it's cute! Is it cute? Daddy. Okay, so that was little butt kicker who is now up, up, up there, up, there. up, up there. Uh, so now we are going to do the uh, ladybird spider the rhesus wall canary. You trying to pick the dirt up off the floor? Okay, so now I'm going to set up for this. Now it's my understanding you don't actually like it too damp, so I really I'm going to have to try and squeeze. As much of this moisture as I can out here. Now with this one, it's not going to be anywhere near so deep 
on the substrate layer as I gave to a little butt kicker and what I'm going to do with this is actually mix it with a bit of play sand uh, to help dry it out and to keep it the same as what I've currently got it set up in. Okay, so oh, we're out of shore. Uh, and we'll just mix all that through because I really, really don't want this being too damp. And the, the substrate mix I've got on just now is uh, very similar to this. It's a coir and sand mix. And she seems to be relatively happy on it. I'm gonna press that down. We'll get in some hides, a bit of decoration, and then we'll get her into there. This is our current setup in here. She is webbed up. Just in here, I've got a beautiful kind of pink tinge to the webbing. So what we're going to do is get this decoration out, use it to redecorate this, and then we will get her transferred. Okay, so there we go. Set up. I've used the sphagnum moss and stuff from the substrate of the old setup, and there she is, starting to appear at the bottom of the web. So we will get her moved into here, and hopefully she's going to do really well. Get some nice webbing on the go. Uh, hopefully it's going to look awesome. Okay, so here is a little blueberry. Uh, very rarely seen her since she was a tiny wee sling, probably smaller than her abdomen is now. Absolutely beautiful wee spiders these. Do really, really, really like them. There we go. So there we go, she's in. I just absolutely love these. I think they're absolutely beautiful spiders. And as I said, I had seen a video with the Spider-Man whereby it kind of webbed up the entire enclosure and it just looked absolutely amazing so hopefully once she kind of settles yeah. in and gets a feel for her surroundings she'll make herself right at home and produce some of this absolutely oh, no. beautiful kind it's of pink stuck. webbing that they're well oh, known for no. it's, stuck. it's not stuck buddy this is our house that it's... cool okay so we'll keep you updated oh, no. on how this <laughs> develops <laughs> this is easily one of my favourite spiders. I just think there's something so adorably cute about them. This came from uh, So Many Legs. Again, as always, So Many Legs will be linked in the, uh, the comments section, as will any name channels. Made one very quick adjustment to her enclosure. Because she wasn't an arboreal style setup and she'd webbed round the back previously, I've decided to add in a kind of slightly raised area there around the back uh, to see if she'll web into oh, that. No. Uh, so yeah, we'll keep you posted how she gets on in here. But I think it's looking pretty awesome and hopefully she'll do really, really well. Okay, so that is two rehousings went smoothly. The only downside is I'm now left with an empty jar. Hmm. Any ideas? Don't know. Uh, I got a very mixed response about moving the fan-tailed, flag-tailed, the uh, Alipes Grandidieri into one of these uh, tubs. A lot of people are in favour of it, other people said leave it in the one it's in. Still in two minds about what we're going to do, but for the time being, it shall remain in the tub it's in. In fairness, there isn't a huge amount of difference. It would lose a bit of uh, sort of length down the side, but actually in terms of size down, it's not a great it's not as much as I thought it was when I, when I actually laid the tub over the top of the other one. But anyway, I digress. I'll leave it where it is for now. And uh, any ideas for the jar setup, please do let me know. Uh, or if you want to donate anything to go in the jar setup, better still. Uh, you can see, this is a 45 centimeter squared uh, Exo Terra enclosure. Houses one, thank you, Pac Man frog. My These two units here both house Heterometrius uh, Longimanus scorpions. I was thinking it was moving these two into the Pac-Man's enclosure 
and moving Pac-Man, who, let's face it, rarely moves, into the larger one of these. Thoughts? Leave them as they are, move them. Maybe it's not a good idea to put these two together, they might fight. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Again, based on opinions, that's probably what we'll go with. If you think it's a good idea, let me know. If you think it's a bad idea, also let me know, because how else are we going to know? Okay, so that's three houses done. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Right, that's three houses done. Little bot kicker is done. Uh, well, can hear he's done, little, little blueberry. And that just leaves it for me to say bye bye for now. We'll see you next time. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you think about other rehousing options. Again, the Alipes Grandadieri. Do we move it? Do we leave it? And the Scorpions versus Pac Man Frog. Do we leave them? Do we, do we move them? I, anyway, what he says. Bye bye for now. Bye bye. And yeah, now you can say it. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe.